Hey everybody, welcome back to Wayne Up TV. I am here with Colleen, and guess what? It is Valentine's Day, and I am her present. But uh, the presents that she bought, brought are some wines from, from Camus, actually. Um, it's like a, another version of the Camus. And when we come back, we're going to try to get through these wines and tell you as much as we know about them. So see you in a second. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, um, Colleen, since I know a little less than you know about these wines, why don't you tell everybody out there, all your fans, because look at that paint up girl right here, um, all your fans about the uh, um, first wine we'll do is the Chardonnay. The Chardonnay. This is, uh, I tell you, Mercerle, when it came out in about 92, 93, when I was living down in Napa and Charlie Wagner, um, this is Charlie's sons now, this is his pro project, correct? Jack Wagner. Son, Charlie, yes. Charlie, Charlie, that's yeah, it. Charlie makes these wines about 10 years now. Very cool. Uh, what yeah. I like about this wine is everything. What do you like about this wine? I like everything about this wine. Do you? Tell it's me about this wine. It's silky and sexy and rich. It's got a lot of butterscotch vanilla. It's a, it's a bigger Chardonnay for the Chardonnay drinker that likes love this stuff. the wine that's aged in French oak. Um, it's got some nice acidity on the finish, so it's still great with food. I, mean, I think it's just magic. Perfect Valentine wine. For you guys out there that don't like Chardonnay, revisit Chardonnay. Um, this is everything I like about a Chardonnay. It's round, rich, oaky, buttery, silky. Just it's it's a monster. And the the downside with these wines in general is they won't last for a long time. They're best drunk, I think, within five to five to seven eight years, uh, as opposed to laying something down a little, little bit longer. Plus, I like my Chardonnays a little younger than older. Uh, but it's just beautiful. And Santa Barbara, right? Am I close? Santa Lucia Highlands? Yes. Yeah. Down there, Central California fruit. Central California, there's nothing about Central California I don't like. It's, the weather's great. The food's great. The scenery is beautiful. And it's vast. And it's consistent. And you're going to... Every gonna, year. Every wine single year. It's, yeah, it's very consistent. It's always been gorgeous. And the reviews on this wine are always through the roof. So it's like a party in your mouth. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. Lights, please. Come back. Hair is all disheveled. Ah, this wine will get you. This wine will get you naked. I'm grooving. I'm grooving it. <laughs> Here you want to hear where the hat? Yeah. Oh, baby. Here we go. Come back to this. Okay. So twenty six ninety nine, twenty seven ninety nine retail. It's, it's a really nice wine. It's really rich, and it's just, mm. it's purely beautiful. I can't explain it more than that. You guys have to try this wine. And uh, he does make a, a decent amount of it, um, but it's very, very consistent. All right, let's get on with the Pinots. And uh, Mayomi. I'm a Pinophile, so this is easy. You <laughs> like your Pinots mm -hmm. young. I like that. All right, let's, let's check this one out. All right, so this is the Mayomi. And this is probably their largest produced Pinot Noir. By far, yes. and this is about 19.99 retail. Uh, Pinot Noir. This is from a. Uh, this is a blend of three counties. You have Monterey, Santa Barbara, and Sonoma. And I just got off the phone with John Volta, and John has been a winemaker at Camus for two decades. It seems like yeah, over over a decade, probably a couple now. And he's just a very talented winemaker. But uh, it's nice to see a guy like uh, Chuck Wagner passing things down to his kids. And if my dad owned a winery, I'd be a winemaker too. Dad. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about let's talk about the Pinot. And you know, guys, I live in Oregon. I love Oregon Pinot, but California Pinot is so much richer and rounder because the weather's typically nicer and more consistent. I would agree with you, but I have to say, 20 years ago, we couldn't sell California Pinot in Oregon, and now people are looking for it. Um, these are both grown in cool climate areas, and so they produce more like we are doing here in Oregon. If you stylistically taste them side by side with some of our great Oregon mm. producers then you're going to find stylistically they're very similar. Miomi is a great, um, not introductory Pinot Noir, but it's really consumer friendly. Very approachable. It's got good fruit, um, nice spice. It, there's no, no questioning that it's a Pinot Noir, but it's a little, a little, this is a baby brother for the big guy that we're going to taste next. Okay. And you know what? I am kind of like that Pinot. I'm very approachable. <laughs> a little spicy. 
It is Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wearing a cologne. No, that's, that's a taboo when you're it's in the wine business, your right? Aura. It's my aura. <laughs> Caught me on a good aura day. I shower too. Nice. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Okay, um, you know, for twenty dollars, you cannot argue that no. this is a really, like really great that. wine. Well, you know what? I, I've got, you know, well, I'm just I got sorry. A, I know. You got a date later. You got to. Yeah, I know. Get your but the more on. you drink, the better I look. Keep drinking. <laughs> you want mine? Here, have the rest of that. All right. So as you're uh, slowly gulping that down, let's talk I'm about. A, I'm not a gulper. Let's talk about the Belle Glow. Pinot Noir, Douglas. Douglas, Clark and Telephone Vineyard. So that's at the corner of Clark right and, 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 and Telephone. Road. This Pinot Noir is made from um, vineyards that were planted in 1972. The oldest Pinot Noir vineyards, I think, that were planted in California. Um, don't quote me on that. But um, this is Big Daddy to Miomi, and this is gorgeous, silky, elegant Pinot Noir. It's just a, it's. Um, one of my favorites in our entire portfolio. And it's interesting, on uh, 1.73 tons of fruit per acre, that's, that's kind of like Very on the even, Oregon. Very, Oregon. Oh, even lower than a lot of what Oregon is doing. Um, they take a lot of pride in this Pinot Noir and um, do this, they do three single vineyards um, with Belle Gloss and um, I think the, the Clark and Telephone is my favorite. It's got some really nice Asian spice. Um, again, you know, the, the first way to a wine is through the nose. And I've smelled, like you probably have, wines that are kind of off. But the, all three of these are just great up front. It's I don't good. drink those, the ones that smell off. Of course, you have to try them. You have to smell them, though. I mean, you don't but have to try them. Yeah, I know. I don't either, but, you know. But this is gorgeous. It's just elegant, really pretty. It's got great perfume. Mm. It's getting that little, of course, being cherry. But that, there's a little cigar and cinnamon. Yum. And That's about $35, $36.99, right around there. Nice. Great presentation, too. The hand dip. Now, I heard this is the one that you dipped. It's not the exact one I dipped, but I was able to dip one at the winery when I visited, She's a dipper. My, I, I knew I visited it. The, the winery this summer. I am a dipper, um, and it was fabulous. The family is an incredible, incredible source. Very nice. Good comeback, by the way. We cleaned that one up well. You know what? Because I have to do that. I'm an HR nightmare. I know. <laughs> you think you are. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I just saved you from that. Yeah, you did. Okay. Um, Santa Maria Valley, guys, uh, what, what uh, was... Prominently grown down there are the Rhone varietals as well. So, you know, Marsan, Roussan, Viognier. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's so many great wineries in uh, Santa Maria. Isn't so. that just gorgeous? I mean, it's so beautiful down there. It's absolutely... No, the wine. Oh, the wine's great, too. <laughs> no, no, you know, but you're, they're different. Mm -hmm. even, different. Though, even though they're... Don't you think that I'm Big Brother is a good descriptor for Miami? Yeah. I think so, too. I'm not going to argue with you. You can beat me up. It's Valentine's. It is Valentine's Day. All right, guys. Uh... Thanks for putting up with Colleen. You know, she's, a, she's a rough one over here. And uh, when we come back, we're going to do a couple more wines from Camus. So stay tuned. <laughs>